Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna get back to the utilities. If you've seen yesterday's video, saw that I got the electrical in here and it runs down here, just got a cap on it. That's gonna go to a box in the wall here, a sub panel. Sub panel will feed this edition as well as the final edition going that way at some point. So I, it'll be run again through the through the trusses up here. But today I gotta get the scariest part done, which is this water line. This does have water in it, so I gotta shut off the water. I have to cut this back here. I have to route it through here. I, and I gotta get to here. I was just looking at this. I have this duct here. And if I run it straight, I should put a 45 and a 45. That'll allow me to, that'll give me some room to work with this duct because it's going to get real tight in here real soon. So that's probably what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is get some measurements. So I'll just, I'll run it over to just past this stud here and then go to a 45. And then I'll, I'll try to figure that out to here. I'm going to drill down through here. Um, that will put it, I can have the valve right here and connect it to a, a cross member going across here. The location is, it's kind of arbitrary, but I want to get it. There's going to be a cabinet built into the wall here. So I need room for the side of the cabinet. So I'm coming in just a few inches in. That should give me enough room for a handle and all that stuff. Okay. Actually, I should come in a little bit farther for the back of the cabinet, but... Uh, yeah, this is just going to come in, and then it's going to have a valve right here and a threaded... Uh, there'll be the threaded end on the end of the valve there. And I'm going to transition the PEX. Then it has to come over here and down to a water heater and a sink. And then, like I said, it'll go that way. So it'll have to come back up and through again. All right. Well, I'll figure that out. So I'm going to get started by measuring and I will get back to you when I start cutting the copper. Got the copper right there. I'm going to work down there and I don't think, again, I don't think I'm going to have the time to film a whole bunch of stuff. I'll just come back and show you as it's done. Uh, once I get done with this, uh, with these utilities coming through here. Then I'll start filming again when I have, uh, when I can really boogie and start getting some uh, trusses on and start getting the sheathing on and all that stuff. But this is just so putsy and it's inside the wall that it it's, would take way too long to do any fancy filming on it. So I'll get back to you in just a little bit. It's about an hour later and I got one joint soldered. My map head was bad, <laughs> so I had to go get another torch head for map gas. Had to run to town. It seems like my any projects related to water are cursed. But I think it's going to go okay um, from here on in. So now what I do... The next one is a 45 degree angle 
So it's going to be about like that. It's going to connect to the existing line, come through, and go out of 45. So what I'm going to do is get these joints prepped. And then if you lay it down on something flat like this, you can get them exactly in line. And then solder that up. And then I will fit that for the next piece. I'm going to have the piece that comes up and over. I'm going to match where the two cross. And that's where... Then I'll cut a piece to match and put the next one right there. It's going to go something like... Something like that, I think. And then over just a bit and down. But I'll be able to see what it looks like a little better once I... Once I get this, um, hold that into the opening and take a look up there. So I'm going to do a little more and I'll check back in. I have the line from the house cut. And you can see I have my new part just press fitted on. And like I was saying, it'll come out. This is where it needs to go to. This is the part I cut off. So I'm just sitting this right here. Let me see if I can show this. And I just want to, I'm just going to eyeball it like this. And then make a mark right here where to cut it. And then I'll solder this part on. And then my hole's going to go about right there. So then I just need to get a, uh, I'll drill the hole, bring that up, and figure out my last pieces there. And then I'll get everything in place. I'll get everything out here soldered up. Uh, I can actually leave this one joint, the last one that goes down through the hole. I can leave that unsoldered if I want. I don't know if I do want to though. Then I got to get some some metal uh, shielding in there. I'm going to I might have to cut this open a little more so I can get the torch in there right. And then I got to bring the solder in from the side <sighs> crash. I had this camera I had this camera fixed supposedly. I, it was under warranty and it took a week and a half. I had to borrow somebody else's camera during that time and it is not fixed. All right. That was, uh, well, I'll do a video on it. That was through Square Trade. Um, they did get the camera, supposedly, get it fixed and sent it back and everything. But apparently it's not fixed, and they really gave Cindy a run around, so I'll do a separate video on that. But anyways, back to this. So that's going to be my hardest one. I gotta, I'll got i put my fire extinguisher right over here somewhere, just in case. But first, I'm going to mark this and then get these last joints uh, set up. Uh, well, get them done, except for this last one, possibly. And then I will come back after that. Okay, I got the hard one soldered. Hopefully it's good. So what I did here, I put this board in here to block the back. This is just soaked in some water for a little while. And same with this board here. That's my foam flopping around back there. Soaked it in water a little bit to block off the sides. I was blocking off that fabric or plastic vent back there. And then this is a wet blanket, wet towel underneath it. So nothing caught on fire. I had my fire extinguisher here anyways, but appears to be all good. Oh, here goes the AC and my wet rag to cool it off after I soldered it. 
So everything from the pipe there all the way out to here is soldered. Now I have this joint and this joint. What I'm going to do is cut this to length, figure out where I'm going to end this up, and I have to get my valve assembly done, get that in place, kind of clamp it in place, get all this stuff ready, and well, there goes another crash. This is definitely not fixed. Same as before. Come on. Okay, got it started again. So this will be the last joint. I have to get my valve assembly done and then I'm really hoping I don't have a leak in here. I really don't know what the hell I'll do. I'll have to, you know, it's kind of getting late in the day and I should have picked up a cap for this just in case. I do have the old cap and a splice if I really, really had to, but I don't even want to think about that. So let me get moving so I can get the water back on. Let's get this valve on here. Perfect timing. The AC just shut off. So I got a little bit of peace and quiet here. All is well. After I turned on the water, I came back out here. There was no leaks, but there was a, a drop right under this joint here. But it was from cooling this joint off with a soaking wet rag. So I've dried everything completely and tested it and keep checking it and no leaks all is well so like I said I got the wrong size smurf tube and I do want the smurf tube coming through here so I'm gonna run the tube up through here do a connection inside there so I need the I need the tube on hand to do that and then this you know, I'm thinking about it. I don't need to run this through here right, right this minute because this opening is out isn't going to change. I got to come out through here and then go right through the wall right here. So I don't have to get this done right away. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to start closing this up. I had to clean this off and trim these edges and then I'm going to put a little bit smaller piece of foam in here and I'm going to foam the edges to seal it off real well because this is actually insulating the house. This part will be in the attic of this room so it's not connected to the outside. All I got to do in here is Put the insulation that I pulled out of here back in place. Same thing in here. Got to bring that insulation back down and back over and all will be well. And what do I got to do up here? This is going to get cut out up to about here anyway. So this is just staying the way it is. And then there's going to be... Uh, a little ledge that runs back right here. You'll see that stuff a little bit later. So I think that's it for today. Tomorrow so I think that's it for today. I'll get this stuff done. It's kind of boring and it's kind of loud. I'll get whatever I need to get done over here. And tomorrow when I do the next video, I'm going to start by laying out the truss locations on both sides so I can start laying trusses. I think that's the next thing to do unless I... Uh, come up with something different. So if you want to see all that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. 
If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you could share the video and give us a like, that would greatly help the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.